Hello everyone, my name is Twinkle. I am starting a new chapter in your biology portion, chapter number 2, Reproduction in Plants and Animals. As you know, there are so many differences in between living and non-living things, right? Uh, what are the features of living things? They are moving, they are eating food, they are aspiring, right? So one of the major uh, point or um, one of the major um, identification feature of the living thing is that they are reproducing, right? Now what do you mean by reproduction? Reproduction is the process by which living organism produce new individuals of their own kind. Means they are producing their own young ones. Human beings has got human being baby. And uh, if we are cutting one a stem of a jasmine plant, we are getting another jasmine plant. Like that their own kind um, young ones they are producing. That process is known as reproduction, right? And the reproduction are of uh, two types actually and uh, they are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. What do you mean by asexual reproduction and what do you mean by sexual reproduction or what are the difference in between these two. Okay and uh, as I told you if we are taking uh, the stem of a rose plant and uh, we are making another one means we are planting it in the garden we are getting another rose plant and uh, can we say that a rose plant has got a mother or father no so it has got only one parent only one parent involved in asexual reproduction okay that is the main um, identifying feature of asexual reproduction it doesn't have two parents it has got only one parent but in the case of sexual reproduction we all having father and mother two parents are involved in sexual reproduction okay so two parents are involved in sexual reproduction and there is no production of gametes in sexual reproduction as i told you before it is only one parent so there is no um, need of production of gametes so there will not be the production of gametes will be here in sexual reproduction the gametes are producing means the male gamete and the female gametes are producing the male gamete is producing from the father and uh, the female gamete is producing from the mother and they are fusing together to form the new individual okay so surely the fusion of the gametes makes the genetical variation also uh, the genetics is going to be bit improved in the case of sexual reproduction but it is less in asexual reproduction have you got it only one parent is involved in asexual reproduction no gamete production and less genetic variation will be there in asexual reproduction whereas in sexual reproduction Two parents are involved and gamete will be present or gamete production will be there. They are fusing together and surely it is leading the improvement in the genetics. Okay. These are the two types of reproduction. And now we are going to look at the plant reproduction. In plant, both sexual and asexual uh, method or mode of reproduction will be there. Uh, surely, uh, we all know that the flowers are there in the plants, right? Uh, flowers consist of the male and female reproductive organs of the uh, plant actually. And the details we will uh, see later. What are the types of or what is the details of the sexual reproduction plan? We will go through that and um, I mean afterwards. And uh, what is a sexual reproduction? A sexual reproduction. Uh, there are so many methods are there in the asexual reproduction of plants and some are a fragmentation, spore formation, vegetative propagation like that. Okay, so both sexual and asexual reproduction will be there in plant also. Sexual reproduction is done with what the male and female gametes which is produced uh, within the flower and asexual reproduction different kinds of asexual reproductions are there some other examples some examples are fragmentation spore formation vegetative propagation etc and the details of all these things i will take in the next video thank you